anticipated. And uh, no doubt a few more people will come in as I'm talking. Um, so you're the lucky ones to see the whole of the presentation. Um, just by way of introduction, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a recovering economist. And I, I guess uh, I'm also not a typical university academic in that I've spent a fair bit of my time in the real world as well. And uh, I've just uh, quit my job as director of the Asia Pacific Centre for Sustainable Enterprise in the Griffith Business School. I'm still staying at the university as an adjunct professor, but um, I decided that at my ripe old age it was time to talk, talk a little less about sustainability and actually do it. And I racked my brains for a long time in terms of how I could meaningfully contribute. And I know a bit about schools because I used to work for a, a multinational education company that opened them and acquired them and restructured them and so forth, um, albeit for wealthy expatriate children. I know a, bit, a little bit about online education. Um, I've been mucking around with computers in education for the best part of 20 odd years. And uh, I know a bit about sustainability because whilst I'm a recovering economist, I've sort of morphed into an ecological economist. And so I have taught and researched for a long time now about sustainable development. So one day I was thinking how I can combine all of these, these strengths. I'm also pretty well networked in this part of the world, having lived and worked in Southeast Asia and South Asia for a decade. And I came up with this idea, which is Green School for Girls, which I'll give you a bit of an overview for in terms of why we need something like this and also then talk a little bit about the business model, which is still evolving in my head. And uh, anybody who has any suggestions to make afterwards, they would be uh, gratefully accepted. You'll find my coordinates on this slide here. Uh, I'm on Twitter. I've also got a SlideShare site, slideshare.net slash Williams, and you can download these slides right now if you want. Um, there's also a website, fledgling website for this um, enterprise, gs4g.org. So let me get on with it. Why the need for sustainable enterprise? Well, quite frankly, the, the earth is full. The earth is full of us. It's also full of our stuff. This is... Uh, um, a thoroughfare, I think that's the appropriate word, it's a bit of a misnomer in Los Angeles. Um, it's full of our garbage, which actually creates a whole new economy in itself. And not only that, but we've also, in the process of growing the global economy, we're, we're changing the surface of the earth. So this is a, an area in Texas, United States. This is one of the world's largest mines in Africa. This is what we do with a lot of our forestry around the world. We chop it down, we don't replenish. And we take the world's natural capital as if there were no tomorrow. My mother used to tell me when I was a teenager when my girlfriend dumped me, don't worry darling, there are plenty more fish in the sea. Uh, there isn't any more. There isn't any more. And we are, in some instances around the world, at critical points in terms of fishing stocks. 